What's happening, y'all? Shout out to all my loyal fans who I know are tuning in. It's just your boy D Parks today. No Ray Ready, but something you should know D Parks, he's always ready, always ready to talk ball, always ready to talk sports. And this is Sports XXL for an XXS man. Because I am skinny. Anyway, pretty big weekend in sports, in my opinion. That's kind of how the winner goes. Every weekend, you got all kinds of sports, all kinds of stuff. And big UFC event this Saturday night. We have heavyweight title fight, Cyril Gaon versus John Bones Jones. John Jones returning to the Octagon after a uh, pretty lengthy absence due to drug use. I believe it was cocaine. Uh, I don't think it was steroids, so he's good. He's back. And he is favored against Cyril Gaon, who has one loss. Um, John Jones, one of the most famous and best fighters of all time in UFC history. So you would think he'd win. I'm kind of going the other way. I think Gone, the Frenchman, will take this. And that's kind of might be kind of a hot take, but I feel like Gone is kind of more with it right now. John Jones is his first fight in years. So I would not necessarily want to bet on him. Conor McGregor came back after a, albeit a smaller absence, but he had kind of mixed results. McGregor, not as great of a fighter as John Jones, but I think that not being in the octagon, fighting an actual person for a long time, could be kind of difficult to get things back. Uh, and the fight before that is uh, women's flyweight title, Shevchenko versus Grasso. And Shevchenko, uh, as you might imagine, is an uh, Eastern European um, lady who probably will put the hammer down on the Italian Grasso. So taking the favorite champ in that one, taking the money line in the heavyweight title fight, which is between two fighters who neither of which are champions, because Francis Ngannou recently decided to leave the UFC. He was the champion, so the title is up for grabs and it's gonna be a good one. So you may wanna tune in if you're able. But also tomorrow, college basketball, as always, I will be tuning in. And there is some pretty big games because it's the last weekend of the regular season. And coming up is the big dance, March Madness. Conference tournaments are next week. And if you win that, you're in the tournament. So all of the smaller schools, they got to win those to get in. They're not getting at-large bids. Whereas the bigger conferences, they're getting probably, a lot of them will get, or a few of them will get five to six, maybe even seven teams in. You can get a team that's 19 and 12 in, but because they have a better schedule, they will be in. So it's actually probably a bigger weekend for some smaller schools that are right on the bubble that need to get wins. But we still have some games between top teams that will decide seeding. And we have Alabama, number three, versus Texas A&M, 24, at Texas A&M. And I actually think Texas A&M will win this one. Alabama was really pushed to the brink against Auburn. They're going through some crazy off the court things regarding Brandon Miller, who is allegedly brought a murder weapon to a teammate that was used to kill a young woman. Brandon Miller is still on the court. A lot of people don't think that should be the case. I'm not entirely sure what the right thing to do is in this point. He hasn't been charged, so I suppose you can keep him out there, but he's got to get criticism. But regardless, they still got games to play, and Alabama might just crack under the pressure. 
They almost lost to Auburn in overtime the other night, and now they're playing on the road again against a ranked team. I think this time they'll probably uh, they'll probably go down. We've seen a lot of top teams going down. Then later in the day, three Kansas. I said three three Alabama. Alabama is not three. Kansas is three. Alabama is two, I believe. Um, they're top five, regardless. Kansas is three. Texas is nine. They're playing at Texas. This is a game where I think the team on the road will win. I think Kansas is built for March. Texas not really built for March. They already lost their head coach. Uh, still have a very good roster, but I think carryover, turnover might start to uh, get to them. Kansas Jayhawks. And then at 10 o'clock, Arizona and UCLA. We got the West Coast game. Uh, a lot of people don't stay up for that, but you know, if you're a real college head, you can always trust the Pac-12 West Coast Conference for the late night games. UCLA is four. Arizona is eight. It's a top 10 Pac-12 matchup, kind of a throwback. Plenty of NBA on. Uh, once March is passed, focus can turn more to the NBA and the NHL. Shout out the Capitals. They are struggling, the Capital S, but playing at San Jose Saturday. So I think they should win that. I'll leave it at that. They should win that. Wizards, my NBA team, playing at uh, playing versus Toronto again. Big game for the play-in, which is kind of embarrassing and sad to say, but you get you win the play-in, you can make the playoffs. We can get into that later. But for now, we got UFC, we got college basketball, final weekend of the regular season. That's what you should be focused on if you're a real sports head. And for SportsXXL, I'm Dee Parks. Stay observing.